Would you guys like to see P.J. Tucker back in a Miami Heat uniform? Let's talk about it. What's up, you guys? Your boy Ernest here, back with another Miami Heat Talk video. Ready to rock and roll on another Miami Heat Talk adventure. Before we get started, you guys, you know what I'm about to ask. Click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. About 65% of you that watch these channels are not even subscribed. It takes five seconds to do so. It would really help your boy out. So go ahead and get that done. Now, something I want to talk to you guys about, obviously, from what I said in the beginning of the video. I want to talk about P.J. Tucker. Before I talk about this recent update with P.J. Tucker, I want to give you guys a little backstory about P.J. Tucker. Because for those people that have been following me for over two years now, you know my thoughts on P.J. Tucker. But I'm going to tell everybody now. Back in 2022 excuse me, the 2021-2022 season. We signed P.J. Tucker from the Milwaukee Bucks. He just won an NBA championship. P.J. Tucker is the glue guy that we needed. He's the guy that takes pressure off of Jimmy Butler. He guards the best player from the opposing team. We've seen what P.J. Tucker has done against guys like Kevin Durant, uh, Nikola Jokic, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He holds his own defensively because he's that dog. P.J. Tucker, to me, was one of the best power forwards that played alongside Bam Adebayo. He may be 6'5", 6'6", he's an undersized power forward, but he makes up with it with his tenacity. So I always felt that P.J. Tucker was a great fit here. After that 2022 successful season, where the Miami Heat were the first seed with P.J. Tucker, he left. And it made no reason, in my opinion, why he left. Miami Heat offered him an eight-year contract worth $27 million. He left Miami to sign a three-year contract for $30 million with the Philadelphia 76ers. The way that the Miami Heat presented the contract was that, look, Philadelphia's contract is higher, but after the state income taxes hit you in Philly, you're going to make the same numbers that we're offering you. The reason why the Miami Heat did not match that offer, for those of you that don't remember, back in the 2022 offseason, Miami Heat had that full mid-level exception that was worth about $10.5 million. They were trying to separate it to bring back not only P.J. Tucker, but also have enough money to bring back Caleb Martin when they gave him that three-year, $20 million contract. We signed Caleb Martin, we went a little bit over the salary cap, but that was to bring P.J. Tucker. He had a hard cap. Miami was willing to give him a 25% raise to bring him back. So instead of his $7 million contract that he got when he signed here, we were bumping it up to eight and a half. He didn't sign with us because he wanted to be known as a $10 million per year player. Makes no sense. I get it. But in his opinion, he wanted to be value in a different tier. So instead of staying with Miami and getting the same money, he left to Philadelphia just so he could be known as a $10 million per year player. Also, there was the fact that he wanted to go play with James Harden. They were old buddies. So past has been explained. I thought PJ Tucker was a moron for leaving Miami, but it is what it is. We made an NBA championship without him. Good riddance. Now, P.J. Tucker has been playing lacklustery, I would say, with Philadelphia, but he was doing okay. He was traded to the Clippers as a part of the deal with his butt buddy, James Harden. Ever since P.J. Tucker has been traded to the Clippers, things have gone terribly. He's basically gone from playing 20 to 15 minutes a game. Now he's completely played himself out of the rotation. He ain't playing with the Clippers at all. P.J. Tucker is 38 years old. He's in the tail end of his NBA career. He wants to win a championship and at least play. Now, it was reported by Chris Haynes a couple days ago. Um, he was in a podcast talking about P.J. Tucker. And it was reported by Chris Haynes that P.J. Tucker and Lawrence Frank, the head director of the Los Angeles Clippers, sat down about his spot with the Clippers. As of right now, the Clippers are telling him that they have no room for him to play right now, but they do see him as an asset later on in the season towards the playoffs. They look at him as guarding potential people like Kevin Durant in a series against Phoenix, doing his job against the Joker against Denver. So right now, what the Clippers are telling PJ, we're going to continue to pay you the money that you have, sit in the bench, do nothing, 
and when we need you, we'll call you. If PJ's okay with that, then this video means nothing. But reports are saying that PJ Tucker is not happy with that. PJ Tucker wants to play. He wants to play with a team and he wants a shot to win a championship by being a contributor. So with that said, there's been recent rumors that it's possible that the Clippers can either trade PJ Tucker or if they do not have a suitor by the February trade deadline, Chris Haynes did report that it's possible that the Clippers and PJ Tucker can talk about a buyout. Now, let's talk about the first part, trading for P.J. Tucker. No. No, no, no. I'm not even going to give any options on what we'd probably have to give. P.J. Tucker makes $10 million. You got to match that salary by trading for him. So that means you got to trade someone like Caleb Martin, um, Duncan Robinson, maybe. There's no way I'm doing anything like that for P.J. Tucker. If we bring P.J. Tucker back here, it's for one reason and one reason only via buyout like we did with Kevin Love and Cody Zeller last season. That is the only way that the Miami Heat should bring back P.J. Tucker in my opinion. You trade for P.J. Tucker, you are morons. You shouldn't trade for that guy. P.J. Tucker dug himself in this hole. That's his problem to figure out. He needs to decide if he wants to make money or if he wants to win. If he wants to make money, then he's going to stay in the same scenario he's at. Because if he discusses a buyout with the Clippers, you guys, he's going to have to take less money than he's owed. So the true question for P.J. Tucker is, what does he truly want? Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not happy with the way P.J. Tucker left Miami. However, we do have that hole in the starting power forward position. It's not a huge hole. We're patching it up with guys like Haywood Highsmith, Caleb Martin, and Kevin Love. It's fine. But adding P.J. Tucker to this roster is beneficial for two ways. One, it's going to help us out with that power rotation. Give us an extra player. You can let go of Orlando Robinson's contract to bring in P.J. Tucker. I would prefer P.J. Tucker over Orlando Robinson this season, to be honest. He's a veteran. He's won championship. He's going to help you in those crucial times in the playoffs. But also, it's to help develop some of these other players. It's to help guys like Haywood Highsmith. In the past, you guys, I've called Haywood Highsmith a mini P.J. Tucker. Imagine having P.J. Tucker in this team to help Haywood Highsmith, not only with his three-point shot, but defensively. It's only going to help Highsmith get that much better. Also, P.J. Tucker can really help Jaime Jaquez Jr. bring out that dog in him. P.J. Tucker is that guy. He's like a Udonis Haslam type of player. And he and Jimmy Butler have a great relationship. So if you ask me, if we have an opportunity to bring back P.J. Tucker via buyout, then I'm all for it. Now, the chances of P.J. Tucker and the Clippers discussing a buyout, if I had to put a percentage on it, you guys, I'm going to call it 25%. Because I don't think P.J. Tucker signed that $30 million contract to give up money. This is the final contract he's going to get. The only thing he's going to get after this is minimum scale contracts. And that's what he's going to get with Miami if he gets bought out. So if P.J. Tucker can get a good amount of his contract that's remaining, I think he'd be open to a buyout. If not, you're going to see him stick with the Lakers or possibly, excuse me, stick with the Clippers or possibly be traded. So I want to know what you guys think about this P.J. Tucker situation. Would you like to see P.J. Tucker back in the Miami Heat? And if so, would you guys be open to trading for P.J. Tucker? Or do you feel like I feel? Just bring him back with a buyout. Another update for you guys, Miami do have another game tonight against the Orlando Magic. It looks like Jimmy Butler is not going to play in tonight's game. It's like I've mentioned to you guys, now with Bam Adebayo and Tyler Hero out, look for Jimmy Butler to take some games off because he was playing every game when those guys were injured. I understand a lot of you are, uh, excuse me, I understand a few of you are not happy with the video I posted yesterday about trading possibly for Donovan Mitchell, including Tyler Hero. You guys got to understand, when I talk about these videos, it's not me reporting this stuff, but it's me giving honest feedback from a Miami Heat fan perspective. So I'm always going to give it honest to you guys. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm always going to see it for both sides. Yes, I am a Miami Heat fan. Yes, I'm biased towards the Miami Heat. However, I am a realist. I do understand what we have to do and some sacrifices we have to make to get better. 
That's just the way I see it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Share your opinions with me. I'd love to hear them. But please, guys, again, take a moment. Smash the like button. Subscribe. It really helps me grow this channel. We on the road to 3,000 subscribers, and I need your guys' help to get there. Thank you all so much for the love and support. And until next time, your boy Ernest out. That's enough said. Let's go, Heat.